uh, it's apparent that this is a, a significant and long-awaited event for Muslim people in this courtroom. And so I assume that there's a good deal of pent-up emotion represented here. Um, I do believe it's important, however, that we all agree in advance that the entry of an order itself ought not to be the occasion for giving rise to that emotion in the courtroom. This proceeding is the culmination of a long judicial process, but it's not in and of itself either a ceremony or a celebration. Uh, it certainly is appropriate to use this time and place to reflect upon the fact that the rule of law has been applied to resolve a difficult societal matter, one on which reasonable minds may have differed and certainly did differ. Uh, but the rule of law once again been applied to resolve an important societal issue. That's something to think about and feel good about, I think, but the ceremonies and the celebrations should await for another place and another time. And with today being the effective date of this order, I don't think they're going to have to wait for very long. With that as background and guided by the Supreme Court's decision, the court enters the following orders. One, plaintiff's motion for summary judgment is granted. Two, to the extent that any statute, regulation, or common law rule in Connecticut is applied to prevent otherwise qualified individuals from marrying because they wish to marry someone of the same sex, this court declares that such statutes, regulations, and common law rules violate the Connecticut Constitution for the reasons set forth in the Supreme Court's decision in this case. Three, the defendant Dorothy C. Bean, or her successor in office, shall issue marriage licenses to the plaintiffs upon, upon proper completion by the plaintiffs of marriage license applications, and shall record the marriages upon their celebration according to law. Four, the defendant State of Connecticut Department of Health, Public Health shall take any and all steps necessary to effectuate the court's declaration, including registering the marriage, plaintiff's marriages upon proper return. And this order shall take effect today, November 12, 2008.